Hello, my name's Lenny. I'm a science teacher, STEM ambassador, STEAM lead, quest assessor and director of Amaze Lab. And I'm very excited to be here today teaching you how to make your very own snow at home. Now this can get a little bit messy, so please do make sure you ask adult permission. So what will you need to make your very own snow? You will need some shaving foam. You will also need some baking powder, some biodegradable glitter. This is optional, but it will help your snow glisten just like real snow. And just a couple of drops of water. You're then going to need a spoon and a bowl. So let's get started. Now the quantities that you use of your ingredients will depend on how much snow you would like to make. If you would like to make lots and lots of snow, you can use a full container of baking powder. So I'm just going to make a sample for you all. So I'm going to take my baking powder and I'm going to add it into my bowl like so. So I've got my baking powder in my bowl. Now if you are using a full container full of baking powder, you'll probably want to use about half a can of shaving foam. So give it a good shake, pop the lid off and squirt your shaving foam on top of your baking powder. It's lots and lots of fun as you start to make your snow. I'd also advise that you just add just about two drops of water to your mixture. You're then going to take your spoon and give it a good mix. Now, as you make your snow, you may want to change the quantities just to make sure you've got it exactly right. So you might want to add a little bit more um, baking powder or you might want to add a little bit more shaving foam just to make sure it is moldable snow. Now, this experiment to make your own snow at home is also an endothermic reaction. And what that means is that an endothermic reaction is that it takes energy in from its surroundings. So when you touch your snow, it will actually be cold, just like real snow. So can everybody see my snow forming in my bowl? Now do make sure you give the bottom of your bowl a really good scrape, just to make sure that you've got all of that baking powder. And as you do that, you will start to create that powdery white snow. Now, if you would like your snow to listen, you could also add some biodegradable glitter just to give it that little bit of sparkle. So if you are adding glitter, pop it in with your spoon, just give it a really good stir, like so, so that we have got our glistening snow. You should then have a really nice crumbly snowy mixture but the fun doesn't stop there because this is just like your real snow and that you can take it out of your bowl like so and you can make your very own snowballs you could make a snowman you could make whatever you like from your snow look at our snowball there that we've made i hope you all have the most fantastic time making your very own snow at home. Thank you. Bye.